everybody once again i'm apologizing for the wind it's so windy right now i wanted to come out here and harvest some stuff and get some photos of some things but my goodness this wind is just crazy look how it's just blowing everything around So I have my, I'm using my GoPro right now with the chest harness on, thinking I'm going to be able to try and harvest some stuff like this. I don't know. I don't think it's going to work out that great <laughs> because this wind, how this wind, and I want to be able to show you stuff that's like higher up some of my sunflowers and stuff and I can't really show you anything because well this is just crazy <laughs> and it's always like this though that's the thing it's always so dang windy just for no reason just windy for no reason Okay, you guys, there's some things I wanted to harvest. There's some tomatoes that I'm going to be harvesting today. And possibly a squash or two. I don't know. I'm trying to see right now. <laughs> um, I've been having some real issues lately with some things. Like with my peppers. And so yesterday I went through and I actually harvested some peppers that were damaged either by the sun or had in rot. Cut all of those off. And then I took them inside, cut all the bad parts off, the in rot part and salvaged all the good part that was left on them and used them to make a dish that I like to call pizza pasta. And I have pictures of it. And it just turned out so good. But pizza pasta is just for you. You make a regular pasta dish with marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce. And then you combine that with another favorite, which is pizza. I love pizza. So you combine that by adding pizza toppings on top. And so you have the best of both. You have pizza pasta. <laughs> Anyways, it was good. And so uh, I was able to harvest all that stuff and, and salvage most of it so there's a lot of things going on right now let's see there's a lot of tomatoes that's ready i didn't even bring my my scissors over here so i could cut stuff these are all starting to ripen all at the same time now it was just one here one there it's doing better you guys I had an issue and I don't know if you can see that because let me see if I can get up close on it. You see the bear stem right here uh, and then there was poop all down on the all down on the cardboard here. So I had some hornworm issues and what's crazy about it is I couldn't find the hornworms. And I came out here and looked, and I have video of me looking 
for these hornworms using a black light, black light flashlight, and could not find the hornworms. And there's no more new damage on my plants. It's all the same damage. And there's no, no more poop, new poop. So I think the birds got them. This is the green sausage and there's just so many tomatoes on it. These are all determinant. And look at this baby. Look how big this one is. And there's a whole bunch of other big ones all squished in there together. I can't wait for those to start ripening. That would be really good. Funny, I got this. Oh, look at this. I got broccoli, you guys. You see that? I've got broccoli head up right there. It's been so hot, I'm so surprised that it's actually heading up. I could actually cut that off and, and eat it. My cabbage headed up too. I have some cabbages in here that's all heading up. And I might get some more broccoli popping out of here too. That's cool. But I started to say that um, <laughs> every time I wear this chest holder from my GoPro, time that I stick my chest out more <laughs> like I'm trying to really show you I'm just looking in here this is all my watermelon patch I'm just looking in here to see if I can find any watermelons that have started that's all the And this is my big old zucchini. The only one that didn't get eaten by Cornelia or the grasshopper. So I'm just trying to see if I have maybe some, another zucchini in there. I took one off of here um, not too long ago. And uh, it was really good. I ended up cutting that zucchini and some yellow squash and took some fresh ham, smoked ham that I had in my deep freezer and some onions and made a, a meal out of that and it turned out really, really good. Okay, so this isn't supposed to be a tour video. <laughs> This is supposed to be a harvest and get myself back in the house video. But I'm just kind of looking around to see because I haven't been out here since it's been so hot lately. I haven't been out here to see what's been going on with stuff. Look at this white cherry tomato. It is just loaded with ripe tomatoes. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to go on the, uh, on the other side here. Look at that. It's just loaded. And then this is supposed to be blueberries. But I don't know. They're not blue. <laughs> they're, they're just not blue. I've seen the colors on the packet and it's so pretty, but it doesn't look like this so i don't know if somebody made a mistake and when they were packaging them or what so i'm gonna be pulling those off too most uh, some of those and then the other let me go grab my scissors so i can be cutting these off and then these other tomatoes I don't know. I got to see if, if they're ready. 
I'm watching them. There's this one right here. That is looking really good. I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, the sun is kind of in the way. But it's blushing. It's not ready though. It's not ready. It's supposed to be a real deep, almost black color. That's a Paul Robeson tomato. But I have over here. I'm just looking at all my little melons. Um, but I have over here my poor plant. He's just dying. I don't know if it's just the heat that's getting to him or what. Everybody else is getting enough water, so I don't think it's a water issue. But he's just giving it up. He's just through with life. He's one and done there. <laughs> I'm taking the tomato off of him today. This is gonna be kind of awkward. You guys are gonna be looking at my feet while I'm trying to pull stuff. Okay, so you won't actually see me cut it off, but you'll see how it looks afterwards. I finished digging that corn out, you guys. I just wanted to show you those sunflowers. They're so pretty. But look at this. Okay, so. Obviously, it's been a few days since I dug it out. <laughs> Chopped down that corn that was in here because there's already corn growing that I have planted in here. I already have corn popping up from where I planted. My next move is to get all of this corn taken down and plant even more corn on that side. And that little patch, the wind just knocked all this corn down as you can see. I think they were ready to come down anyways. but. When we pulled that corn, well, we didn't pull it. I, I didn't want to disturb the roots, uh, the dirt, and the life that's growing under the soil. So I just did basically a chop. And instead of dropping the corn back over here, I dropped it in the chicken run. And the chickens ate all the corn that was on there that did develop. Uh, so there's still some of the stumps in here from the corn stalks that was in here. But I didn't have to disturb the soil. All I did was just reseed uh, in other areas going along through here. So yeah, there was things that I discovered in here. I had planted beans in here and they're starting to flower, those are. But I was shocked when I found that squash growing amongst the corn. <laughs> I've seen it on the other side, but you know, I, I really just didn't think much of it. But it's actually a squash plant and now it's putting on flowers since it has more sunlight putting on flowers I don't know what kind of squash it is yet it was a volunteer because I didn't plant that in there so and then also we discovered yet another sunflower volunteer I didn't see that one because it was hidden inside all the corn stalks so I didn't even see that one but now this is opening because it now gets more sunlight than what it was getting before. 
It's not as tall or as robust as this one. Look at that. But it is still yet and still a sunflower. <laughs> and you guys know I love sunflowers. That's why I have them planted everywhere. So yeah, I did plant the corn in here and we're gonna try this again. I gotta come back over here and water a little bit. And uh, not all of it's popped up yet, so maybe the birds got to it or I don't know. Maybe some of it is just slow and germinating. But the corn that I planted here, um, one is called peaches and cream and another one is a silver sweet corn. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully uh, I'll have some corn that I can harvest. Sweet corn that I can harvest. That um, Japonica corn back here, that's not a sweet corn. That's a popping corn. So I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do with it. <laughs> I guess I'll figure it out. So we'll see. But I just wanted to catch you back up on that. And uh, let you see what came of that corn patch there. So anyways, on to the next thing. Okay, you guys, we are out here again looking for some hornworms in a different bed this time. We already found one earlier while we were clipping this bed and uh, decided, okay, we better check for more. And Daniel already found a couple, a couple of them. You see them in the cup glowing? So if you use your black light, flashlight, and he's going to show us how it looks on the, on the plant. Look at that. It makes them stand out like that. So it makes it easier for you to spot them because they're hard to see. Like we were all in these bushes earlier <laughs> and these things was just hanging around. They nasty. I don't like them, uh, but they were all hanging around us and we didn't even realize it until I happened to look up and I look at a branch and I'm like, that's not a leaf. <laughs> and it turned out it wasn't it was a hornworm but this bed had been so overgrown and overrun with grass did you find another one uh dropped it oh you gotta hold on to that okay that um it just it just was hard to see anything in here but since we uh look at that Oh, well, you can't see it unless he shines the light in there. Um, but since we came out here to tie these cages up because they were all falling over because of this wind, um, then we noticed that there had been hornworm activity over here in this bed. So, Let's cover what it is, Keisha. Damage. <laughs> Okay, hornworm damage in this bed, so. <laughs> so we uh, decided we needed to come in here and um, see what we could find. And first I didn't think it was, gonna, it was dark enough, but it is, you can see them on there. Well, that first one you saw was it wasn't dark enough. No, it was. Just it was fat. I saw it. It was big. I think it's really cool though that you know you use this black light and then you yeah. can see a whole new right. world. Oh, I see him. Look, he's up on that branch. You can see him right there, plain as day. Okay, let's get him off. I'm going to show you. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring the flashlight so I could show you the damage that they can do. I saw one of the tomatoes was eaten down. 
And it most likely is from the hornworms. So, he's still looking. I got a number of ripe tomatoes over here too that I didn't even know were ripe. I think the other one that I found is overripe. I might have to wait for the next one to ripen because that one looks like it might be overripe. So, oh yeah. We got this little light. We should get a big old spotlight black light. <laughs> light the whole thing up and make it look like it's a party over here. I just tied all those up too. Uh, every year I be hoping that we don't find any doggone hornworms. They gross me out. Especially when they, they're big and just... Juicy. Yeah, juicy. <laughs> nasty looking. <laughs> just... I ugh. We can go fishing with these things. I didn't so. need to throw you guys under the bus. Oh, that's okay, Larry. I, I'm fine. Okay. No, I know. I met...